In this video we are going to talk about top 10 tourist destinations in India. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. India has a lot of places for tourists to visit, and these places offer a mix of cultures, natural beauty, exciting activities, and beautiful beaches. Here are the top 10 tourist destinations in India. 10. Periyar National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary, Madurai. The Periyar National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary is based around a lake developed by British engineers in 1895 for irrigation and water supply to Madurai. This lovely park was established in 1934 and is home to several creatures, including Indian elephants, wild boar, otters, lion-tailed macaques, and Bengal tigers. It's easy to spot birds like darters, hornbills, and racket-tailed drongos, as well as butterflies. A lake boat or a guided jungle walk are the best ways to explore the park's magnificent mountain landscape. Visit one of the neighboring spice, tea, or coffee estates. 9. The Beaches of Goa Tourists from abroad have just recently discovered Goa's lovely western coastline, which overlooks the Arabian Sea. The more than 60 miles of coastline in Goa are home to some of the world's most beautiful beaches. Aganda Beach is ideal for people seeking solitude, whereas Kalangada Beach is the most commercial and congested. The beaches of Mandram, Morjim, and Ashwam are popular among wealthy Indians and Westerners seeking luxury resorts, yoga retreats, and spa vacations. Palolam is a stunning beach in Goa. Visit the Bhagavan Mahavir Wildlife Sanctuary in Goa. This fantastic destination is home to deer, monkeys, elephants, leopards, tigers, black panthers, king cobras, and over 200 bird species. Devar Island is also worth a trip from Old Goa. Included in the tour is Paidade, a typical Goan village with the lovely Church of Our Lady of Compassion and stunning views of the surrounding landscape. 8. Amar Fort, Jaipur Maharaja Man Singh I erected Amar Fort, 1592, a fortified palace that served as Jaipur's capital for many years. The fort is reachable by a shuttle from the village below or by a difficult trek up the slope, better still, let an elephant do the work. The first courtyard, Jalabchauk, has several decorated elephants, and the Shila Devi Temple honors the goddess of war. The nearby Hall of Public Audience, Diwan AM, has beautifully adorned walls and monkey-infested terraces. It has several flower beds and a channel that was used to bring cool water, and the Temple of Victory, Jai Mander, with its many artistic panels, colorful ceilings, and great views over the palace and lake below. It has huge lookout towers, sturdy fortifications, and the world's largest wheeled cannon. The walled old city of Jaipur, with its three repaired gates and superb bazaars, is a must-see. The city palace is a vast complex of courtyards, gardens, and buildings. 7. Mecca Masjid, Hyderabad Built in 1614 by Muhammad Suli Qutub Shah, the Mecca Masjid in Hyderabad is one of the world's largest mosques and one of India's oldest. The mosque's 15 gigantic arches and pillars were individually carved from single slabs of black granite hauled to the site by huge cow trains comprised of up to 1,400 bulls. This spectacular complex contains a major gateway, a big plaza, and a large constructed pond. There's also a room with Prophet Muhammad's hair. The magnificent ceiling of the main hall and the cornices around the entire mosque edifice are further outstanding characteristics. See the floral designs and friezes on the arches. 6. Mumbai The magnificent gateway of India, 26 meters high and facing the Arabian Sea, is a must-see in Mumbai. This spectacular piece of architecture was opened with much pomp and ceremony in 1924 and was, for a time, the city's tallest structure. The gateway of India, made of yellow basalt and concrete, saw a less joyous parade of British soldiers in 1948, when India attained freedom. The massive archway now serves as a lovely backdrop for both locals and tourists. After seeing the Gateway of India, head over to the adjacent Taj Mahal Palace and Tower for a delicious high tea, a popular activity in Mumbai since 1903. 5. The Red Fort, New Delhi The beautiful crescent-shaped Red Fort in New Delhi was named for the brilliant red sandstone that was used to build it. It is almost 2 square kilometers in size and has a wide moat around it. The impressive Lahore Gate, which is the main entrance to the fort, and the ornate Delhi Gate, which was used by the emperor for ceremonial processions, are two of the fort's best features. A visit to Chata Chowk, a 17th-century covered bazaar, is a must. 
tours are available that provide an intriguing insight into the Shah's life and times, including a peek into the gorgeous white marble hall of public audiences, Diwan AM, where he greeted his subjects. Try to stay for the nightly sound and light performance depicting historical events. 4. Jaslamar. The golden city of Jaslamar emerges from the sand dunes of the Thar Desert, known for the golden sandstone used in most of its buildings. The city's majestic historic homes, spectacular gateways, and the gigantic Jaslamar Fort, popularly known as the Golden Fort, loom over the town. The stronghold has 99 bastions and large gates leading to its main courtyard, which houses the seven-story Maharaja's palace. The palace was built in the early 1500s and was expanded upon by subsequent kings until the 19th century. From the 12th through the 16th centuries, Jain temples embellished with beautiful marble and sandstone images, palm leaf scriptures, and vividly painted ceilings. Visit the 1,000-year-old Gan Bandar Library, which contains several 16th-century texts and antiques. 3. The Golden Temple of Amritsar Amritsar, founded in 1577 by Ram Das, is a major Sikh cultural center. The Golden Temple, Harmander Sahib, is the main attraction here. The temple, one of India's most important Sikh sanctuaries, was built in a Hindu-Islamic style. The huge golden dome resembles a lotus flower, a Sikh symbol of purity. The spiritual atmosphere of the temple is made stronger by the constant chanting of prayers from the Sikh holy book. The opportunity to have one of the 50,000 free meals served daily is part of the whole experience. 2. The Holy City of Varanasi Varanasi is one of the world's oldest cities, dating back to the 8th century BC. This holy city has long been tied to the mighty Ganges, one of Hinduism's most prominent religious symbols. Varanasi has several attractions, not the least of which is the 1780 Kashi Vishvanath Temple. The new Vishvanath Temple has seven temples. Hindus value bathing in the Ganges, and many ghats have stairways leading to the water where the faithful bathe before prayers. It is followed by a sea ghat. This ladder, near the Ganges ACI confluence, is extremely holy. The beautiful Bharat Kala Bhavan Museum has great collections of miniature paintings, sculptures, palm leaf manuscripts, and displays about local history. 1. Agra The Taj Mahal, perhaps India's most iconic structure, is also the world's most renowned testament to love. This beautiful tomb, which is named for Mumtaz Mahal, Shah Jahan's favorite wife, was started in 1631 and finished by 20,000 people in 1648. The Taj Mahal is a white marble structure with arches, minarets, an onion-shaped dome, and black calligraphy inlaid around the entryway. Jade, lapis lazuli, diamonds, and mother of pearl are some of the valuable and semi-precious stones that add to its beauty. The best time to visit is around dawn or dusk, when the lighting changes the ambience dramatically. Try to catch the Taj Mahal's reflection from the Yamuna River's far bank for a great and safe selfie. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.